stop, please stop. Oh my God. You literally said the Quran is not a book. It's a recitation. It's an action. You literally said that. Is the Quran distinct from Allah? Okay. So the Quran is from the speech of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which is distinct from him, not separate to him. It's something which is codependent, or if you want to say counterdependent upon the essence and the existence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One cannot exist without the other. Beautiful. Okay. Um, okay, good. Now, on the day of resurrection... Just, really quick, can you just repeat what I just said? No, I won't. Can, okay, do can, you even can, understand can, what on I the, just On the day of resurrection, on the day of resurrection... Uh, will the Quran intercede on your behalf? Yeah, the Quran will intercede on my behalf, my fasting. If you want to finish quoting the Hadith, my fasting will intercede on my behalf and so on mm -hmm. and so forth. What does it mean to intercede? Okay, so the intercession is by way, in this particular Hadith, the way the understanding of the Salaf particularly puts it for this Hadith is the fact that these things, the actions that we've done and so on and so forth, are things that are going to come in in terms of the fact that we did either we did these actions or we did not do these actions. That's all. Well, it is. It's not the fact ask, that we're doing... Hold on. What, is it, what does it mean to oh, intercede? Let me finish. Let me finish. Finish. Okay, so intercession, again, in this particular hadith is the fact that our actions are going to testify for us on our behalf. That's why fasting is mentioned in the hadith. That's why Quran is mentioned in the hadith by means of the fact that you are reciting it, right? And the fasting by means of the way that you are actually doing the particular fasting and so on and so forth. It's That's not what the action. hadith says. That's not what the hadith says. That's literally, so, I could pull up quotes from the salaf if you yeah, want. Well, let's, let's, pull, let's pull okay, it. What does this have to do with Tawheed? Okay, yeah, exactly, I, 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 exactly. I'm, I'm, First, I'm showing. What does it have to do with Tawheed? Second, I'm, I'm, I'm showing. I can I'm quote showing. you. Hold on. I can quote showing. you the setup interpretation. Oh, wait, wait. It was it's, the it's, first I thought, it was, I thought it was my turn to talk. It was the first question. I thought it was my turn. If I follow the setup, if I pull up quotes for you right now, you're going to get busted. Well, thank you. So, so now it's so now it's my turn to talk, right? Okay, go ahead. Okay, so, oh. so when you say uh, you say that these actions will testify on your behalf, testify to Allah, right? Yeah. Okay, so they'll be testifying to Allah on your behalf, including the Quran. The Quran itself, according to the Hadith, will intercede, will testify on that day on your behalf. And how exactly did I say it was going to do that? I, I, well, you, you're saying that it's the action of you reciting and things of this nature. Exactly. That's your understanding, right? Beautiful. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah. It, very good. The Quran doesn't, the, the Hadith doesn't say that. The hadith doesn't say okay. that no that uh, that the way that you recite it and all that 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 will be what uh, what comes and intercedes on you or speaks for you. The hadith says that the Quran itself will intercede for you, talk back to Allah, and say, "Allah, this person recited me in this part of the night. This person recited me in this, this such and such verses." So the Quran itself is going to speak the speech of Allah, or not the, some of the speech of Allah that is uncreated, that has always existed, that's not Allah but distinct from Allah, is going to, on the day of judgment, speak and defend you to Allah in which he, it's not separated from. I want to know what is your problem with the Trinity if this is your belief. Okay, so first and foremost, this has nothing to do with the Trinity. If you want to debate the Trinity formally about the logical coherency of it, I already offered you a debate to which you rejected yesterday, right? So we could do that. We could set that up, no problem. But in terms of this hadith, again, if you want, I will pull up quotes for you because you asked me about my position in the beginning regarding the Salaf, to which I told you I'm a Salafi, right? I take from the Salaf. If you want their opinion on this hadith where it affirms exactly what I said, I will give that to you. So which mm -hmm. one would you like? Would you like to debate the logical coherency of the Trinity, or would you like to actually continue a discussion about Tawheed? Yeah, we're actually talking about the logical coherence of Tawheed right right now. And oh, what okay, I'm showing you I'm is that. For the tawheed and what I'm and what I'm showing you. Oh no, I, I just let you finish. What I'm showing you is that according to Tawheed, it's logically incoherent because you're saying that only Allah has these attributes of being, you know, uh, infinite, self-sufficient, eternal, uncreated, and things of this nature that these things are, that he's absolutely singular in his essence. He's absolutely singular in his essence. Yeah. Yet, you have another thing that is not separate from Allah, but distinct from him, who that is also uncreated because it shares in the essence of Allah, uh, and will defend and speak to you, speak for you, excuse me, 
on your behalf back to Allah. The speech of Allah is going to speak back to Allah. So it's going to have some type of personhood or consciousness, at least in this moment, speak back to Allah right here in this first in, in this in this time. You have a plurality of personhood or consciousness within Allah's essence. Or you just need to say that you have something else that's uncreated that's not a lot. Plurality, yeah. Can you, can you, can you, gods. okay, can you expand on the plurality part? Go ahead. Yeah, the, uh, the expansion is, is that you have Allah's speech or word that now develops some type of cognitive ability that's able to speak and have knowledge and defend uh, you as a believer, knows what you did, and able to speak on your behalf and defend uh, your, uh, you uh, uh, to Allah, be able to speak to Allah. That's personhood. That's cognitive ability. Also, though, the Quran, as you said, is not separate from Allah. So it's within Allah. It's because it's it's some of his it's from his speech. So it's from the essence of Allah. So within Allah's own essence, now you have a plurality of persons. It was it would seem persons. Yes. Okay. So okay. Co cognitive. Yeah. Yeah. Cognitive, so cognitive okay. Agent. So once again, I will offer you a debate on regards to the Trinity, right? But nobody. I, I mean, you could quote me any setup or any even like contemporary scholar in terms of uh, somebody using the word persons. But I mean, you did say you want to do an internal critique of what Tawhid is, right? Or if you want to do an external one, by all means. But be sure that you know what words that you're using, right? So first and foremost, a plurality would refer to the fact that an attribute in specific occurs two times in Allah's essence, right? So the attribute in and of itself, does the attribute of speech occur two times in Allah? No, it doesn't, right? There's only one attribute of speech. We all understand what the word speech means, so on and so forth, right? There's only one attribute of knowledge, and likewise for all of the Quran. Once again, do you want me to quote you, people from the Salaf, because you asked me my position, so once again, I'm asking you, do you want me to quote you, the people from the Salaf, who tell you that this is the understanding of the Hadith, or do you want to keep expanding upon something that you have no knowledge about? No, 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 it's not that uh, I don't want you to quote uh, what your people say. I, I know what some of you guys say on the understanding how you guys try to interpret this hadith. My thing is actually going, uh, I'm critiquing your understanding and showing you how your understanding is a cop out uh, and going away from what the hadith actually says. The hadith doesn't say anything about, oh, well, it's, uh, you know, it's in these particular actions. It's the reason that you uh, 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 recited the Quran and you believed in it and, received, and, and recited it that the fact that you did that will, uh, be, you know, be ex be extra points for you on the day of resurrection. No, the the hadith says that the Quran itself, the Quran itself will intercede for you, will speak to Allah for you. Not just that, but the Quran also will have two chapters, two chapters that will that will split off and come as flocks of birds, right, or clouds. It says either birds or clouds. And they also will speak on, on behalf of you. And now, so you have really, it, it, it gets uh, even deeper into an issue because you have the Quran that's uncreated. So obviously the contents within the Quran also, as you said, the contents of Allah's speech is uncreated. So then the, the contents of the Quran that will, those two surahs that will come out like flocks of birds and intercede. So flocks of birds is many birds. So the, 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 the chapters of the Quran turn into many different beings, come as a conglomerate, come as a collective, speak on your behalf. You have so many examples of the Quran being conscious and cognitive and uncreated, speaking back to Allah. You have so many pluralities either within Allah or you just have many gods. This is the issue. Okay, so thank you for your Protestant exegesis of uh, Islam the Quran, the Sunnah, so on and so forth. But yet again, you still want to defer away from my position, right? I don't care about your Protestant view when it comes to Sola Scriptura and so on and so forth. For the fifth time now, I'm going to ask you, do you want me to actually give you the people who affirm my position? Or are you going to continue with an exegesis that has no basis and so on and so forth? Because obviously the Hadith doesn't say that first and foremost, it's going to come as a human. It doesn't say anything regarding the fact that the Quran itself is, is that true? particular can I can I finish or you yeah, sure up? go ahead right so the, the
Quran and your fasting is going to intercede for you. Now, if it's the case you want to focus on the Quran, can I just ask you if it's the case that my fasting is not a particular object or thing that I'm holding in my hands that's tangible and so on and so forth, can you please tell me how exactly that's supposed to testify for me since you want to give up to Jesus? Go ahead. Oh, no, well, no it's, it's very simple. Uh, uh, you know, Allah has the ability to uh, give fasting, create fasting some type of corporeal form where it can speak to you. Where it can intercede for you, where it can defend you. Hadith? So you you ask, you asking me is that in the well, break this down and make it make sense for me. Oh, but is that That's, in the hadith? Th this is the, Atachi. This is not is my problem. Hadith? This is yours. I, I'm not sure. Because so you wait, just, excuse, you me, just excuse me. To me about the if your if your Quran, why are you interrupting me after you ask me a question? Yeah, if I asked you a question, and now you're giving an exegesis, you, not only why, an exegesis, but an interpretation. Why are you why are you interrupting me, Atachi? Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm asking you to stay on the same exact point that you asked me. I'm answering your question, Atachi. Yes, you told oh, me you? answer your question. Because I Obviously. asked you, where in the hadith does it say so, that the so, fasting well, itself is going to testify for you as a It says that fasting and so on and so I, forth. I you, if it's the case, really, fasting is an action. Go I ahead. I got you. It says fasting and the Quran will intercede for a man. Fasting mm -hmm. says, O oh my Lord, I have kept him away from his food and his passions by day. So accept my intercession for him. Your okay. hadith and is, is fasting says, a tangible thing that actually please. exists? Let me finish, please, Atachi. Right, so is fasting a you, tangible thing that Atachi, actually exists? I promise you I will listen, I promise. Yeah, go I ahead. I promise, when it's your turn, I'll listen. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so according to the hadith, however it happens, well, let's just say Allahu Allah. Allahu uh, Allah, we don't know how it happens. Yeah, go ahead. The, the, the fasting will have the ability to speak, to speak and say things and defend you on the day of resurrection. Not my problem, this is your problem. So you have the, the, the fasting and the Quran that develop a consciousness that's able to defend you on the day of judgment. The problem here is, is not with the fasting because the fasting is not some uh, uncreated attribute uh, or uncreated thing that has always existed, but the Quran is. So you have the Quran that exists within Allah's essence that is eternal and uncreated that now has a consciousness and is speaking to Allah. You now have a plurality of persons within Allah's essence. Okay. Are you done? God. Okay, no problem. So, um, God logic, can I, can I ask you a basic question regarding the Arabic, right? What does the word Quran mean? Recite. Okay, and what is fasting? Uh, fasting is when you abstain from certain things. Would you agree that these are two actions? Sure. Okay. Are these two actions particular things according to this hadith that I have done in my lifetime that are attesting for me? Sure. Okay. So if it's the case that it's my actions attesting for me, does anything in the hadith imply that this thing is going to now become a bodily form? Does it say anything about a body or is that something that you're just simply implying based off of I never, I never said body. So number one, okay. I never said so body. Does it say anything I said they will have the material? ability to speak and now okay, it's so cognitive. I'm asking, okay, so I'm clarifying. I never said body. So hold on, wait, wait, hold you on. Remember how you stopped me, me when I, me I said I was building I a let point you off finish. Of I let you finish. Yeah, I just don't want you to build a point off I, I, of a No, point. I'm not strawmanning. The only one strawmanning okay. is the one that's taking the hadith out of context, right? So did, did, so I, did I say fast when I have a bodily form? So again, so I'm asking, right? Because you said that Allah can Wait, manifest. Did, did I say that the fasting will have a bodily form? Yes, yes, form. you did. You said that Allah can I make did? it so that it's manifest as a corporeal sense. I can clip it and send you it. So wait, 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 wait. So me, me saying corporeal doesn't... Corporeal, okay. literally. Corporeal. Literally I never said that it will it will have a physical body. body, though. I never said it has corporeal, to have a physical body. Okay, so corporeal form the definition means of words, it's visible so as some type of way that it's going to speak. Okay. So we're going to look up the definition of the word that you don't know that you're using, and we're going to just see what it means. Okay. So, Central, can I get big screen, please? And you say corporeal doesn't refer to the fact that it's a body? No, what I was saying was that I'm not talking about that the, that the fasting is going but to have a physical corporeal, body. Correct? I never said that. You I said, said that it's probably going to come into, into some corporeal form. I said, Allahu Alam, who knows? Okay, but we not a body. It's going to develop a consciousness and be able to speak. But, but not ahead. a body. Go ahead, go ahead, make your point. Okay, so the word corporeal, the the word corporeal right? quite literally means having a body, right? That's the word that you just used, right? Corporeal. It literally means having a body. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm asking you again, does the Hadith say anything about these two particular actions, which you agree they're actions? Does it say anything about them coming in a material form? Yes or no? 
Okay. So can I answer you in full without interruption? Yeah, Thank please you. answer me directly. Thank you so much. So what I'm saying is, is I said Allahu Alam, who knows how the fasting is going to speak. Maybe it will come into a corporeal body. And you corrected me. Thank you. You corrected me by corporeal literature or some material form. Okay. So I, I'm not too arrogant enough to be like, oh, or try to hold it. No, you, you know, you're right on that. So, but I'm saying Allahu Alam. I'm not making this point. Like I never said that, oh, the fasting is going to have some corporeal form. Like it's going to be like a definite, it's going to have a physical body. I, that's, that's not the point I said. I was giving that as an option. Okay. So, but what my point is, is that fasting and the Quran will have, will develop a consciousness. Okay. Whether it's through a, a physical form, the, the, the Quran or uh, the Hadith is not specific on that. Okay. No problem. Now, here's my question to you because you talked about these actions. Okay. Here's my question to you, right? The Quran is the Quran an action? The recitation of the Quran, yes, which is with I didn't literally. Ask that. I, 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 did, I literally did not ask that. I asked. Yes, it's is a recitation. The Quran it's an action. An action? Huh? The Quran, the recitation of the Quran is an action. I didn't ask that. Did I ask that? Okay. So it does not exist on its own, right? Words don't just I, I, float I, I, on by themselves. It's Atachi, Atachi. Yeah, so I'm answering you directly. Atachi, I'm answering you, know, you directly. You know how it's not an action. Atachi, you, you know the how you word in and of itself is not an action. Directly? I'm not asking I'm about not the recitation. Directly. Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Is there a distinction between, uh, uh, is there a distinction of the recitation of the Quran and the Quran? Okay. So the Quran in and of itself is a recitation. Yes or no? I'm, I'm, I know you're not answering the question. Is the recitation I'm, I'm of the Quran, directly. let me ask, please. Is the recitation of the Quran and the Quran two distinct things? Okay. The Quran, again, for the third time, the Quran is a recitation. It's not something that exists on its own, right? It's not a book. Like, for example, the book in and it's of itself, we don't call it Quran. Hold on. We don't call the book the Quran. We call that the Mus'haf. Yeah. So the Mus'haf, the one with ink and letters and so on and so forth, is not what we consider the Quran. Yeah, the what Quran is we consider The Quran we consider a recitation. That's all it is. Very so good. that's an We're, action. It requires a bodily thing, such as myself, or in the case of Allah, it requires Allah to enact a particular form of speech. Did the Quran, did the Quran, this recitation, exist before it was revealed to Muhammad? Yes, it did. Okay, so the Quran, this recitation, the Quran, existed uh, in and of itself before it was recited by mankind. It was recited by Allah, right? Yeah, do you know what the Lawhi Would you agree is? that the Quran exists in the mother of the book? In the, yeah, the Lawhi al Mahfuz, yeah. Very good. So it is actually in the mother of the book. Very good. So the Quran. Do you know what the mother is, of the book is? So, excuse me. So. Okay, I'm asking just, wait, wait, just to wait. clarify, do you understand what Lawhi al Mahfuz is? Uh, it's the mother of the book. What okay? is that? So, hold on. No, that's not the question. I'm, I'm just asking no, 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 you, no, what please, is that? Wait, wait guys, what does this have to do with Tawheed? It has Again. everything to do with it. It has everything to do with it. Watch. So the Quran exists in the mother of the book before mankind ever recited it. It existed. It was its own thing. Right? When what Muhammad do you mean recited, thing? what when do you Muhammad mean? Own recited, thing? When Muhammad wait, recited, wait, wait. just clarify. Me. What do you mean own when, thing? When Muhammad recited, he recited the Quran, correct? Correct. So the Quran is actually a thing that exists. Correct. Right. So when we say when we say Iqra al Quran, okay. So when we say Iqra al Quran, right, we're referring to the particular thing in and of itself. When we refer to the Quran on its own, we're talking about the recitation of the revelation that Allah gave to Jibreel, who gave it to Muhammad, and so on and so forth. Okay. Very good. So again, the recit. Hold on. The Quran in and of itself is not something that just exists on its own. al al Mahfuz is specifically something in which Allah had transcribed it. So again, a transcription is not the same thing as the recitation in and of itself. So please, if you if you will, not straw men and refer to things that are transcribed, because I is the, quite is literally the, told I'm, you I'm about four times. I'm, 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 trying the, the I'm trying to finish. I am trying to finish. Is the Quran trying to distinct finish. from the mother of the book? Yeah, if you don't mind, I am trying to finish, right? Oh, okay, so sorry, go ahead. again, the Quran in and of itself is a recitation. When we say the Quran is transcribed onto particular things, for example, al al Mahfuz, for example, the Mus'haf, and so on and so forth, these are transcriptions of the Qira'ah, right? The Qira'ah in and of itself is an action. Can you please stick to that point? No, no, uh, I, I need you to stick to the point. 
is is when, that, when that you is say that the Quran when you say that the Quran is in the mother of the book, it's in the mother of the book. So the Quran is actually a thing that's in the mother of the book. Correct? I didn't need a yes so or no on this. A transcription, again, a transcription of something does not refer to the fact that it's the original thing. Is okay. the Quran ever in the mother of the book, the book or not? Is the mother of the book the original source of it? I'm asking, is the Quran in the mother of the book? Yes or no? Okay. Even if I answer yes, it still does not change the fact. It Very still does good. not change the fact. So it's not the original yes. source of it. Yes. Yeah, so just why don't yes you try to yes. listen to the answer, right? Because just I'm quite sure. Yes, if it's yes. I literally just did. Okay, thank you. So that's all you got to do. Just stop. Stop. There. Okay, is that so the source the, of it? So if the answer is yes, the Quran is that the source is of in the mother of the book. So is the mother of the book the original source of the Quran? We're not asking that. You're you're not. I'm asking that. I am asking that. Why because can't if you it's answer not the, the question case, before you is. ask another okay. one? So beautiful. So I'll explain to you why I'm not answering your question. I don't and need why you to explain to me why you're not answering. I need okay. you to no answer the so, question. So, Allah al-Mahfuz, the mother of the book that you keep referring to, is not the original source of the Quran. When it's is the transcribed, Quran in it? again, bro, Central, you're going to have to moderate this or else I'm not going to be able to actually answer fully. You're not answering nothing. You have to right. answer I'm, I'm actually question. trying Itachi, to... Go ahead, go ahead, respond. Go ahead. Okay. So when it comes to Allah al-Mahfuz, this is not the original source of the Quran. The original source goes back to the creator who recited it. Again, it being a recitation, it is an action. Okay. When the creator, for example, would transcribe it onto Allah al-Mahfuz, when the creation transcribes it into the Mus'haf and so on and so forth, this does not change the original form of the Quran being a actual recitation that's not that's not how this works right a transcription does not take away from the original attribute of it being a recitation of it being speech okay Can you please are you, answer? are you done are you done yeah, I am okay done. i would like thank you, you so answer. much so because since, since you're unwilling since you're unwilling to actually answer my question i'll help you when you say that the quran is just a recitation it's just the action of reciting that, that's it it's just the action of reciting it's not an actual book it's not an actual book, even though the Quran says that it's an actual book. This is the book we built. Did I, did I say that? Uh, yes, you did. You said it's no, not a book. No, no, I didn't. I said yes, that did. the original you said, source you of it being a recitation. A wait, wait, stop, please, stop. Oh, my God. You literally said the Quran is not a book. It's a recitation. It's an action. You literally said that. So okay. now that I got so you, when I referred to that, I was talking about the Mus'haf, right? Again, I'm talking about no, the book that you wrote in your hands. It's very simple. Is the Quran I'm a book? I'm talking about the book the that Quran you wrote in your hands, or Allah al-Mahfuz, which is also something that's transcribed. Is it is Quran not being the original is source of it. Is the Quran a book? Oh my God. Okay. The original source of it is a recitation. It being it written book? down into the book. Okay. It being written down into a book form, the way that we understand a book today is not the original source of it. So once is it again, a book? Yes or no? It is one of the revealed books of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which was Very originally so it's from one, his So speech. it's a book. Thank you. So okay, the Quran from is a book that's revealed from Allah. Thank you so much, Atachi. So the Quran is a revealed? book. That's well, revealed really from quick, Allah. How is it revealed? Wait, wait, how is it revealed? Me, hold on, hold on. Excuse right, me. So how is it revealed? Thank you for finally answering after how is the it marathon. Revealed? So, wait, so hold on a second, revealed? please. Hold on a second, please. Okay, so how is so it revealed? Quran you're, you're getting a little buzz eyed right Excuse me. How is it revealed? Excuse me. Thank you. I'll just ask you so much. Thank you so much. So this is where you got caught. You got caught when you just tried to simplify or oversimplify the Quran as simply being an action. You said out of your own mouth that it's not a book. You said that. So you went against your Quran, but now you're acknowledging that the Quran is a book. It's one of Allah's revealed books. Very good. So now when the Hadith over here says fasting will intercede for you and also the Quran will intercede for you, not you, not your action, not what you're doing, the Quran, the revealed book of Allah is going to intercede for you on your behalf. And guess what? The revealed book of Allah, the Quran is uncreated. It's eternal and it's within Allah's essence that develops a consciousness that's able to defend you and talk back to Allah. You have, Itachi, a plurality of persons within your Allah. Tawheed destroyed. 